What's up everybody, I'm Jeremy from the J Jugular channel. We're back with more Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. In the last part, we officially completed getting all the relics and all the CTR tokens for every single one of the tracks that you originally raced on to get to Nitrous Oxide. Now, what I figured I'd show off is me just driving to the Gemstone Valley since that is the last area we need to complete. So, oh, matter of fact, just to kind of flex a little bit here. So, all the maps, Insanity Beach, we accomplished getting three platinum relics, one gold one, and we got all the CTR tokens there. All CTR tokens grab for Lost Ruins with four gold relics. All CTR tokens for Glacier Park with three gold relics, one platinum, one unexpected platinum, actually. And Citadel City with three platinum relics, one gold one, all CTR tokens nabbed. All the CTR tokens were also grabbed for all the crystal arenas as well. And looking at the other progression, looks like we gotten all the tokens, all relics, except two, and pretty much half and half platinum and gold. Haven't gotten a sapphire one yet. Want to continue the trend? Um, I don't really give a shit if I can't because we're just trying to complete the game. Um, I can kind of get platinums on my own time if I really wanted to. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and take the long, long drive to... Oh my gosh. Okay, I almost got sidetracked there for a second. We're going to take the long, long, long drive to Gemstone Valley through these three maps, but not... Um, What's it called? But not Insanity Beach. I kind of think it would have made more sense had you started in Gemstone Valley instead of Insanity Beach because you have to drive through Gemstone Valley just to get to the Lost Ruins, which is why, you know? Like, I kind of would think Gemstone Valley would kind of be your hub role. But I didn't feature, I didn't show off also that we're using Geary in this part, using an iridescent blue color and the spiral flex and spiral right here we're showing detonator purple wheels um hopefully nothing that's a little bit kind of weird i want to show off geary because geary was very popular throughout this entire grand prix um hype that was going on actually let, let's save the game first let, let's save the game because i haven't done that first geary was very popular when the grand prix were popping off mainly mainly towards the end of them because geary was not getting any legendary skins up until the last huzzah, the last DLC pack, which they recently dropped. I don't even know why I'm not even flexing this thing. Hold up. I usually don't do this, but let's see. We're gonna we're gonna show Beanox Robot Geary. That that's him. That's him in all his glory. We're gonna probably just no, I want to kind of match a little bit. We're, we're gonna go with this, and we're gonna change up the wheels a little bit too, just so I kind of look a little bit cool. There, that'll work. That's fine. Works out perfectly. All right. So, I showed this off a little earlier, I think. So, normally to get here, you need two boss keys. I don't know why it's two. I don't understand why it just can't be one, why it can't be four. But you need two boss keys to get to this area. Now, all of these, these cups, the red gem cup, the green gem cup, blue yellow and purple same gym colors from the original crash games i don't think they're missing one i think that i think the only one they're probably missing is the orange one and the pink one from crash one but these were the these were the gems that were pretty much staples so what these are which i think i've explained in a previous part we kind of get a view of all of them yeah that works so what these are like i said i think in a previous part before already probably when i first started doing these every single gym color responds to a corresponding cup so the red gems if you get all four of those which i can show off right here if you get all four of the red ctr tokens then you're going to get the red gem cup if you get all four purple ones then you're going to get the purple ones if you get all four yellow ones so on and so forth so what are the tracks the tracks are the same tracks that you got set tokens for so i believe with the red gem cup i know for sure that's like crash cove mystery caves let's 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 take a look let's take a look so we got crash cove mystery caves papu's pyramid and blizzard bluff if we were to do the green one we'd get ruse tubes coco park polar pass and cortex castle so all of those tracks that you got the tokens for correspond to the cup that they're going to so we're going to go ahead and start this we're going to start with the red gym cup all this is is a cup race if you guys are very familiar with cup race in arcade mode you're going to do each race back to back to back and hoping to get the best overall score out of everyone it should be the same original eight characters and we're going to go ahead and start left to right as i normally do in mario sonic the olympic winter games and we're going to start with the red gem cup 
So I'm probably not going to cut out cutscenes or loading times here just because I don't really do the track showcase or the track um, cutscene beforehand. I just skip right to the uh, starting line. So I'm probably just going to have this recording all the way through. Um, I'm probably not going to be recording for the entirety of all of these gym cups. Well, I, I am, but I'm not going to be voicing over just by myself. I plan on having other people featured in this with me just because talking over these same tracks again and just giving my same general thoughts of them can kind of get tedious. Like I said, I've, I've, this is the fourth time racing on these tracks. So I make it to where you're going back to these tracks over and over and over again. Um, so I can only say so much about Crash Cove to a certain point. But, um, yep, so we're here. I don't know if the difficulty is amped up either. I, I know in the PlayStation 1 version, I felt like they were a little bit harder to race against for some reason. But all I have to do is just race normal and I should be fine. Matter of fact, I think they might be a little bit difficult. <laughs> So gym cups, super, super vanilla. All you're doing is racing to get the highest amount of points against all the other racers. It's nothing too complex. It's nothing too hard. All you have to do is just race. And I don't think there's nothing else crazy about that. In the original um, Crash Team Racing on the PlayStation 1, you would actually unlock the boss characters by doing these, which is why there's a lot more of a... Um, reason to do them. I think getting the boss characters was probably the most hype thing about doing these like after the um, pretty much after game anyway and for the purple gem cup which is still the same in this game because in this game you actually unlock the boss characters by just racing them normally. In this game you still unlock fake crash by getting all the um, purple CTR tokens and racing in the purple gem cup because there is no boss to unlock because you're actually racing all the bosses in that one. I thought I was going to actually have to get to that cup first before I actually talked about it, but yeah. So this is pretty simple. It's a very, very simple thing to kind of get through. And once this is over, you're pretty much done. All you have to do is get two relics and then we can race Oxide, which is really cool because I should be able to get a different cutscene this time when you actually challenge them and you have all your like after game gear, which I think you only trigger that cutscene if you're in Gemstone Valley. All right, so Crash Cove. We're officially done with Crash Cove. We shouldn't have to see Crash Cove again unless it's multiplayer or if I have to replay it for any reason whatsoever. All right, super, super, super simple. All right, Mystery Caves. Uh, what can I say that I haven't said about this already? Um, I don't know, man. I mean, like I said, there's not much I can say about these tracks. I haven't raced on them for the fourth time. I, I love it. <laughs> I love what they've done with the place. It's, it's, I love what, they, you, what you've done in here. Is that you swept up. It's pretty nice. Um, pretty smooth, to be honest with you. But I like, I like the overall look of the track and shit, I guess. I mean, I think the one thing about Mystery Caves that I used to, used to hate is the fact that the lava kind of rose up a little bit more quicker than it does in this version and it kind of caught you off guard that's just my opinion but oh my god i'm actually maintaining a steady lead now if you guys remember in the playstation 4 version when i first started this whole let's play thing or the whole showcase as a whole which is really much of a let's play but when i started the showcase i started this off in hard mode I decided to just keep it medium, even though I kind of regret not keeping it in hard mode in the first place because um, when I first did it, I did like a test run of like just racing through Glacier Park and the game just saved over and that wasn't my intention. So that's why I had to redo it on the Switch version on hard mode. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I want to show off two versions anyway. But um, ended up regretting that just because I have way more shit on the PS4 version. Yeah, let's. I, I can tell you, like, all the tracks look way better. And if I had to give, like, a complete review, which I guess I can do that, because probably next part is going to feature, like, a, a co commentator, probably. But um, what, what I can say about Crash Team Racing as a whole, I don't think I've given this game en enough justice to give it a full FaceTime review. But what I can say about this game as a whole, one, out of all the love and care that Crash and Spyro, uh, yep, I'm saying Spyro too because he's in this whole circle of 
remastered re imagining um, group here out of all the games you know I'm just gonna talk about it in the next race I think the next race is Papa Pyramid so I can talk about it for about two minutes all right first place completely expected yes machines will always win Gary they will always win that's why video games are the best thing ever created next race Papa Pyramid let's go All right, we're here. Oh God, what the fuck is inside of Geary? <laughs> what the fuck was inside of Geary right there? The more I race on Blizzard Bluff, I'm reminded more and more this track is very pretty. I know like when I was a child and I saw Blizzard Bluff, I got hype every time. Cause I don't know, the, the sea, seeing snow was always something that kind of got me hype. I don't know why, but I always would see snow. I'm like, holy fuck, it's snow. Ah, and I just got so freaked out and shit. I don't know why, but nowadays it's just like whatever. I I've seen snow enough times to where it's just like, it's whatever. But snow is still one of those weird weather tropes that it's like, when you see it, you're just like, oh fuck, you know what I'm saying? Blizzard Bluff is a super basic track though. Hilly right here, and then the ice kind of just makes it all just seem super cool. Yeah, I love what they've done with the place. It's a fucking skating rink for Penta Penguins. I like it. I think it's really cool. I, I, I don't know. I think it's pretty snazzy. I thought, I, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I said Papu Pyramid was next. I, I really just didn't know the order of the tracks because, I don't know, I mean, it just made sense. Papu Pyramid was the next track after Crash Cove and Mystery Caves. I don't know why they make you do Blizzard Bluff next. Weird order, guys. Weird flex. I'm not even gonna try the shortcut. I don't care how far I'm leading. If I'm on the last lap, that that shortcut can kiss my ass. The inspiration I got from doing this whole showcase thing also was from 250. I didn't know how to say his name. I was gonna say 250 crash 250, but. He has nothing else to say after that. That goes to show just how much love Beanox gives fucking Geary. <laughs> he only has like one thing that he normally always says. How many coins do I get for that one? 66. That's awesome. Let's do Papu Pyramid for real this time. All right, all right, all right. Papu Pyramid. Now, why I'm doing this showcase. I don't even think. Oh, woohoo! Spot the fuck on! That was awesome as shit. Usually, part one, I kind of discuss why I do things, why I'm doing it. And I think I spent like probably five minutes doing that actually. So, it wouldn't make sense for me to just talk over, like, again, why I'm doing this, would it? Yes, I, I figured it would. So, whew. um. Crashing Racing, I've said it before, is my favorite game on the PS4 probably of all time. I have other favorites as well. Once I beat Final Fantasy VII, I'll probably say that game is the greatest of all time. I've played Kingdom Hearts 3. That game is fucking incredible. Uncharted and every fucking thing else on my PlayStation I get is incredible. I love Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. It's one of my favorite anime RPGs that I have. Um, and with that being said, about this game, it's something about remasters that really just really really just make me want to cry it, it, it's tears of joy because they know what to do with it it's like i haven't seen a shitty remake since the whole remaster remake rekindle has been lit since probably 2010 that's when developers started saying that people really like classic games people like things to be remastered and i say it started in wait, what the fuck it's like how how are you behind me <laughs> I say it started in 2010 because developers were really just starting to remake shit now. Like, we had 2D Mario on the Wii. Lucid Mario Bros. Wii. And then we had, like, Donkey Kong Country Returns, which was remade. It was Donkey Kong Country from the Super Nintendo on the Wii. How fucking cool was that? It doesn't get better than that. It's fucking dope. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um. This game is amazing for what it does. Beanox remade it with all the touch and care that they have. And I love this game. So probably give it a 13 out of 1. With that being said, all these tracks are super short. So 
it's completely understandable this video is only going to be about 18 minutes and 30 seconds but overall this was a pretty short cup I don't even think this is the same cup in arcade mode. I think it's just completely different. I don't know what their intentions were when it came to just re or adding in the um, the CTR tokens for certain tracks. I think they were just like throwing them everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, man, this has been the first cup. And we, of course, we're gonna get actual trophy animation, all that stuff. Um, these tracks don't even this doesn't even take long to load this is this this loading time right here is like probably a little bit longer than crash team racing on the playstation one see look it's not even that bad or is it there it is red gem all right guys so with that being said we have completed officially completed the red gym cup and those tracks that you guys just saw that will be our last time playing on for the adventure mode for right now of course we're probably gonna have other times where we play on like online or just fucking racing for the shit of it i don't know but damn that that trophy animation is so awesome oh my god he's just like i'm gonna be cool real quick and then i'm gonna clean up <laughs> But yeah, I'm not gonna hold this video too longer than what it should be. You guys know Geary is awesome. He deserves this skin that he got from Beanox after them basically being like, oh shit, we really didn't give this man a legendary skin, huh? But with that being said, guys, I'll see you all next time for the Green Gym Cup. I hope I got that right. I'm pretty sure that's the next one. The Green Gym Cup, which should feature tracks that I don't remember. I honestly don't remember the tracks that are next, but... Um, We'll see how things turn out next time with a different character, different customization, and different tracks to race on. I'll see you guys next time. This is Jeremy from J Juggler Channel signing out. Have a good one.